So today we're going to walk you through how to build a tree map chart in Google Sheets. So part of this is knowing how to structure the data and then actually inserting the chart and adjusting the options. So tree map chart categorizes data and then displays it by the relative value. So we're going to start with the simplest one first with a single category. And then after that, we'll go into how to set up and build a multi category chart. So on a single category chart, we have our primary or main category, and we have that in our title or header row here. And then we duplicate that exactly in our second column in our data below. And that's important that that matches exactly. Then in our data, we have our item name, in this case, US States, and then the value that we want to use to display here in the third column. And then finally, we have a total for all that category up here on top. And so we can go ahead and insert our chart now. So we're just going to select our data. And then under the insert menu, we'll click on chart. And then what we we'll want to do is come over here to the setup and select that tree map chart type. And that is here under other. As you can see, we already have our tree map in place. And so we can set different options as well. And sometimes if we don't have the subtotal, what you may have to do is toggle this row to as headers until it recognizes it. Then we can go to customize and you can set different options here. For example, some background color the border color. You can also set if you want to maximize, basically taking up the full space of that chart. You can change the font here as well. And then under the tree map part, you can set different options like the font, font size, and so forth. And then what we'll see here in a minute when we go to the multi category is how these levels play into that. You can also set minimum and maximum values for display. And then you can set the colors that you like here to show what those look like. So for example, you can set a single color if you like to keep it in a single color range, or you can set them to different colors as you like. So in this case, we may set red, green, and blue, if you want to set it in that range. You also pick a lighter blue there as well. And so you can adjust those colors as you like. Now the tooltips is about when you hover over the chart. So if we click out of that, and if we hover over the chart, you can see that it shows those values. So that population. And so that is what that tooltip is. So if we uncheck that tooltip, it will now no longer display that pop up. And then finally, you can also adjust the chart and access titles as well. And so one thing to note in a tree map chart is you can click into it, which isn't super useful here when you only have a single category, but we'll see in a second what it looks like when you have multiple categories. So let's go to our second case here. And so we're going to start with our multiple categories, and I'm going to show you what this is over here and using the color option in the tree map chart. So as you can see, we have our primary category still here in our top row of our data table. And then again, that subtotal here. And then underneath, you can see that this meals primary category is repeated each time I specify a subcategory. And so meals only appears here to tie this subcategory back to the primary category. And so this may seem like a repetition, but it is needed to structure this data. And so this is a subtotal here of that category, and then it's totaled up there at the top. So you take your primary category, and then you tie your second category in the subtotal row with the primary category and the subcategory. And then you repeat individual items with that subcategory, then in column two, and the item again in column one, just like we had above. And so this is just nesting those categories. So let's go ahead and select our data here. We're not going to select this one yet. Let's just select our primary data and insert our chart. And it selected the tree map automatically here. And so if we drag this over, 
you can see it has our primary category and then it splits it into our subcategories. So our entrees here, desserts, appetizers, and drinks. Now with a multi-category, if you select into one of these categories, then it will display just those like that. And then you can hit the back arrow to get back to the primary display. Now I'll just grab this as a header there so we can go ahead and delete that. And then we can set our options here. So one thing to note is if we go to customize and tree map, we can now actually set our levels here. So if we go to one, you can see it's only showing now the primary subcategory and not individual items. So now we can actually set our hinted levels. And this gives us a little bit of an idea and it's not perfect, but it gives us a little bit of an idea of what that sub items look like. And so now if we click into this, we can still see our items, but we're only seeing our subcategories instead of each individual item. And so we can toggle this back. We go back to two levels and then we can see it just like that. And so we can still set our options here, like our chart styles as well, just like we did with the first one. We can also set that maximize. All right, so we're going to do one more thing here and then we're going to wrap this video up. So over here, I have some formulas here and a drop down. And so our drop down contains options from our column B or our first column with our items. And so what this is going to do is allow us to highlight items in here. So let's go ahead and add it to this data. And so we can go ahead and modify it here. And then we'll add that as our color. And so now if you look, we selected soup over here and we have this formula that says if this is equal to E61, then we'll display one, otherwise zero. And so you can see here, because soup equals to soup, then this displays one instead of zero. And now in the chart, that signals to highlight that in a different color. And so if we go down here and select pizza, for example, it highlights pizza, or we can do water and so forth. And so this is a great way to allow you to quickly highlight different items within your chart. So that is it for today's video. If you do not have the coefficient extension, make sure that you download it today and check it out to see how you can add functionality, add automation, and streamline different processes in your Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.